Hey guys, so the big thing that came out this week is the official image of the Batmobile for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now this image came out after a bunch of like leaked images came out. I don't know if they were leaked, but like onset photos came out of the Batmobile. And even though they weren't the best quality images, the Batmobile looks freaking awesome. Regardless how the photos were taken, what angle it was, it just looked amazing. It looks like it's a cross between the Tumblr from the Christopher Nolan movies and the Batmobile from the Tim Burton film. It has like the best of both worlds. It has that look of a sports car, but at the same time it has a look of like actual like tank looking like military type of car which is just great. Now the response towards this official photo and all the other leaked photos that came out of the Batmobile have been pretty damn positive. Most people are loving it. They really like it. There's not that many complaints. But even though there is positivity towards this Batmobile that overall people are loving it, they think it looks freaking awesome, there is some negativity towards it. And the one negativity towards it that seems to be the loudest, which I'm going to talk about because it's just some things you need to debunk and this is one of those things that just needs to be debunked. And mostly because there's actual articles talking about this negativity towards this Batmobile and that is the fact that the Batmobile in the front has like two guns on it or two uh, cannon guns or I don't know what's the technical name for it and people are complaining over that fact because they're like Batman doesn't believe in guns why is there a gun in front of the Batmobile and this is something that I honestly don't understand the complaints of because we literally just got out of seeing the Christopher Nolan Batman films where he was driving around in the tumbler that had rocket launchers and had guns on it and he also had a gun actually had two guns on the bat pod and rockets on it as well and then if you rewind to the Tim Burton films that Batmobile also had guns on it. it actually had a machine gun on both ends and you see him using it at one point to take down this garage door so it's not like this is the first time that we're seeing guns on a Batmobile and then even if you look in the comics which this Batman is obviously going to be based on the Frank Miller's Batman from the Dark Knight Returns and if you look at the Dark Knight Returns graphic novel you will see in that graphic novel Batman is riding in a Batmobile that has cannons on it and has guns on it and he actually uses them against people. So for the Batmobile to have guns in the front of it isn't something that's completely unheard of that it has never happened before with a Batmobile. And that's the thing that gets me is like every positive thing that comes out of this movie it seems like people have to grab onto any remote negativity and just run with it regardless if it's based off of anything from the source material like people don't even go back and be like let me go look at one of the older Batman films let me go back to the Christopher Nolan Batman movies let me open up a Batman comic book and see if Batman has guns on his Batmobile no they don't do that they just see something that they think they can take and is remotely accurate as something to be negative about and they run with it. I'm curious to hear what you guys think of the Batmobile. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it one of your favorites so far? Do you like another one that I probably didn't mention? Maybe you like the Batmobile from the Adam West uh, TV series? Let me know in the comment section below and we can talk about it. So that's basically my thoughts on the Batmobile for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Thank you all for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe. The Maze Runner is directed by Wes Ball and stars Dylan O'Brien and a bunch of other talented actors and actresses. Now the premise of this movie follows this character called Thomas who is played by Dylan O'Brien. He gets placed in this community of just basically males. Once he's in this place he realizes he doesn't know who he is, he doesn't know his name and basically they all explain to him, the people who've been there for a while, is that their memory ends up getting erased once they're placed into this group.